All right, to evaluate a 16 to the two to the fifth, there are a couple of methods. Uh, the, the slowest method that you can write it into the equation that this is a five, this is a two. So one thing you can, um, the student asked me, how, how, do you, how do I remember which one goes inside and which one goes outside? Think of this one, the one on the bottom, think of it as it's a muddy shoes. Okay, let's see if I can draw shoes here. If it's muddy shoes, you leave outside the house. This one looks like a house. Okay, so that's one way you can remember. And from there, you can um, get 16 into a, a four of the twos. Because two times two, four times, that's a 16. And since it's square, you can write everything out. Okay. And if it's five, that means that for every five of them, it comes out. So if you have a radical root of two times two times two times two, it's two, that's a 30 two here, and this one is equal to two. So for every five of them, you can have one of them out. So let's try it, one, two, three, four, five. We can have two out now, okay? And then you have eight left inside. There's nothing you can do over there. Okay, so here's your answer. Another thing you can do is use um, exponents. If you have this one to begin with as exponents, so what you can do is stay with exponents. Okay, so if it's 2 over 5, and 16 is really 2 to the 4th, and then 2 over 5. And then if you multiply it out, and that's be 2, um, multiply those things, you have 8 over 5. And this one is really 2 to the 1 times 2 to the uh, 5 is on the bottom 3 here. And you get exactly the same thing, 2 radical roots of 8. All right, here's your solution. Have a confident day.